I was born in Nuansha, I grew up there. I've been a member of that library since I was seven years old. So for me, it's like, wow, do I want my home to be? How do I want my home to develop? And pivoting to uh, the digital age has always been on my mind since I've been supporting the library with books and resources for, for the last couple of years. Uh, this was just a natural place to go because uh, that's where the big need is with lower skilled people, lower income people. The digital divide is huge and they are missing out on uh, opportunities. A lot of Africa is going digital, like banking is online. Uh, they are able to give, specifically in Zambia, medical records, you can achieve them online. Examination results, you can get them online. They are online classes and all that, so that is where I wanted Nuanja to be. My family is there, so every time that I go there, I want good internet. <laughs> I want to be able to connect 24 seven without worrying about, oh, I have to spend money because I need to speak to my friends in America. So uh, bringing internet to Luansha was just like the natural place to be as we accelerate um, bridging the gap, as we accelerate the digital equity in Africa. My family didn't have a lot of resources growing up, so, that library was uh, a sanctuary for me. I used to walk like 20 miles, two miles each way to get to the library and borrow books. So just being there, I remember the first time that I walked there, I was so short and the reception desk was so high, like the librarian had to come around and say, what are you doing here? And I said, can I, can I join the library? It almost felt like a holy place <laughs> for me to be. And I still remember the smell of wood and books and just, gave me so much comfort. So um, for me to do this, it's just like, wow, this is the place that I want everybody to have that feeling. You know, because it's a great feeling. It changed the way that I think about education, about books. It changed the way that I saw the world because of the books that I read and my parents in their limited education, they were encouraging me, pushing me to read, pushing me to go to the library. So it was very natural for me to dedicate the center to them in their memory, first of all, and secondly, also to give this opportunity to other young people and just to have people feel that you don't have to come from money, you don't have to come from privilege to be able to help others and to be able to do well in life. So that was very important to me, to give that to the people of Lawrence, especially the youth.